Bonani Kamangono Sipo and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is pretty exciting for me because it's a first on my channel. This is going to be my very first wig review and as you've probably already guessed, I'm going to be reviewing this wig that is right up on my head. So if you'd like to know where I got the hair, the specs on the hair and if you'd like to know how I customized it to get it to look just like this, then do keep watching. Also don't forget to like, comment, rate and subscribe to interact with me in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys think of me in this wig. I did have an afro last year, um, right after I did my dreads, but my hair was just too thick, too long, and just too high maintenance. But it's pretty awesome to be able to go from zero to afro in less than 10 minutes. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, and until the next one, I love you guys, and God ever stay blessing you. Okay, so moving right on into what everybody came here for, what's going on on my head. So this is a wig that I got from Bounce Essential Hair, and it is the 14-inch Afro Synthetic Wig, and it's going to set you back 865 Rand if you'd like to purchase it. There is a human hair version of this wig, and that's going to set you back 3,470 Rand, and their standard shipping rate countrywide across the board is 60 Rand, which I think is pretty dope because shipping is usually so, so expensive, so it's pretty awesome to be able to get it anywhere you are for just 60 bucks so moving on into the company bounce essential hair is a company that is owned by two beautiful black women and it's basically centered around all things natural so they do sell different variations of natural hair products or natural hair um hair natural hair hair i suppose that makes sense they sell clip-ins they sell wigs they sell puffs so all of that um stuff is available on their website as well as their instagram page so talking about the instagram page that is basically their main marketing platform and where they interact with people and answer questions and all of that and that brings me to my service point because everybody's usually concerned about service when they purchase things from any online company and i personally think that bounce essential hair has such good good service because even though they just sent me the product which obviously would mean that they would interact with me well because um, they'd expect me or rather would like me to add that in the review as a positive thing to say um, being a person that does follow them on the Instagram page and also interacts on their page I've seen how they interact with their customers or potential customers where when people have questions their questions are answered within the day if you have any concerns those are also addressed within the day so they're very interactive with their potential consumers or their already existing consumers for instance once i had received the hair they were sending me messages asking me whether i thought the cap fit well if i wanted it to be adjusted if i had any concerns about the hair and even though like i said the hair was sent to me i'm definitely sure that they'd give any other customer the exact same treatment that they gave to me because i have seen them to be very very genuine people that take pride in their business and are very very serious about delivering the best service and the best product possible I'm going to be answering the main questions that I think everybody generally has across the board about hair in general so the main questions I think arise is number one is what I see exactly what I'm gonna get Number two, can I color the hair? Number three, can I heat style the hair? And number four, which is the most common question, does it shed and does it tangle? So in terms of is what you see what you get, the answer to that question is yes and no. Because for my hair to look like this or for this unit to look like this, I did quite a bit of work on it. But it's not that it arrived in a terrible state and I had to work it to fix it. They just deliver the hair to you in a state where you have the freedom to do a lot more with it than if it just arrived like this. So I'm going to prove my point by showing you guys the Afro Puff that I also got um, sent to me that I haven't done anything to you so you guys can understand the contrast. So the wig and the puff both came in this beautiful bounce essential hair bag so it's like a little suit cover bag where your products come in and there's like a little hanger with the clips as you guys can see that they attach the dust bags to so the products the wig and the puff came in these beautiful little dust bags and basically that protects the hair so in terms of what i mean and um about the hair on my head and how it arrived not being the exact same thing is this so this is the puff and as you guys can see the hair on the puff is very very dense tightly coiled and these are the curls as you guys can see so basically this is also 14 inches and a side note i forgot to mention that this hair on my head i cut so this isn't 14 inches this is probably between 10 and 12 inches because i cut the hair to shape it to frame my face but it came 
this long and I cut it to the length that I have on my head right now. So back into the puff. So as you guys can see, this hair is very, very dense, very tightly coiled together. So if you like your hair looking this way or if you want the more condensed, shrinkage type vibe then you could keep the hair like that but because i wanted a more blown out look i did some work on the hair and to add on to that it's very advisable or rather they advise that you work with the hair while it's damp because if you just try to pull and tug on it while it's dry it's just gonna break so i'm gonna show you guys in my little demo portion where i just use my concoction of water and a little bit of coconut oil to spray the hair just to make it soft so i could work with it a bit more basically exactly what you would do to look after your own natural hair or to style your own natural hair is the exact same way that you take care of this wig because it mimics natural hair to the T. So if you're going to try and work with it dry, you're just going to break it. Um, so you do need to dampen it just to make it a little more easy to work with. Now moving on into point number two, can you heat style the hair? Unfortunately, this is the synthetic version of the wig. So if you do try to use any heat styling tools on it, including a blow dryer, the hair is going to burn <laughs> because it is synthetic. So basically, again, you would need to use the natural methods, the no heat styling methods that natural um, non-relaxed people use to style their hair is the exact same way that you work with this hair so when I stretch the hair before I cut it I put it in twists I wet the hair and then I put it in twists let that dry and once the hair was stretched out I styled it and shaped it exactly the way that I wanted to style it so when you do use those no heat stretching methods and styling methods they do work and the hair does take to those styles so even though you can't use heat on it there's a lot of different ways that you can use to style it so point number three can you color the hair adding again to the fact that um you can't heat style the hair because it's synthetic i really don't think that it would take color at all i really just think that you'd be wasting product and also you'd probably damage the hair by making it bristle and dry and if you try to use natural products like henna i think it also so just would be a waste because it just definitely wouldn't take any of that color so I don't advise that you try to dye the hair um, which brings me to my main if about um, the Bounce Essential hairs offering is that their hair unfortunately comes in this one standard natural black like style and I feel like it would be great if they expanded um, their hair offering to accommodate people that have lighter hair colors like mine for instance which is exactly why I haven't used the puff because my hair is quite brown and putting it in contrast with the puff it's very obvious that it's not my natural hair well outside the fact that my hair is quite silky because it is relaxed even somebody that had non-relaxed hair with the same hair color as mine it would be very difficult to pass the puff off as your own hair because it would be very obvious that that's brown and that's black so it would be great just shouting it out there if about essential hair added more colors to their offering so that they could accommodate a lot more people in their hair range then moving on to the last question does the hair shed and does it tangle so obviously you need to consider the hair texture that you're going to be buying so this is supposed to be 4c type hair so the likelihood of it shedding like a Brazilian or a Peruvian weave is very you know obviously because the hair is so dense and tightly coiled together the chances of you breaking it and having it shed are very very minimal however you can definitely tangle the hair if you don't style it properly again if you don't use products to moisten the hair before you style it you will tangle it as you can see it's so so dense so it really will just intertwine and mat and it just won't be a pretty sight so it's not gonna shed but if you don't look after it properly it definitely will tangle <laughs>
that i feel like i've generally answered all of the questions that everybody would typically have about the wig so um how much would i give my wig uh for a rating i would give this wig pretty much about a 7 out of 10 because i really think that it mimics natural hair so so well which means if you had natural hair you'd be able to wear this out even better because you'd be able to leave out some of your natural hair um, around the perimeter of your head and blend the wig in with your natural hair easy peasy no stress and also i just feel like in terms of the service again great service it's a great product and i think for a protective style it really is an investment that you'd be making obviously you'd be making more of an investment if you bought the human hair version of this because you'd have a lot more styling options but even with this you're not limited you have quite a bit of freedom and quite a bit of free reign to do with it whatever you will so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope this gave you maybe whatever information you were wondering or looking for or thinking about before purchasing this product i would definitely say give it a try especially if you're a natural girl if you want to you know hide your hair a little bit give it a break and wear something else out this would be a perfect perfect option so until the next video i hope you guys have a wonderful 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 blessed weekend because this is going to be coming out on a friday so i hope you guys have a great weekend and i'll see you all in my next video stay blessed